Well, this is the uh, last night in Hanalei. We, we, we don't live here anymore, obviously, but the um, house is going to be sold tomorrow, and it's now pretty much empty. Just a couple things need to get picked up tomorrow morning before we close, but just uh, really weird kind of looking around and, and everything and seeing, you know, this was, this is where the kids, you know, played it. Had a lot of open space down here. Put a gate on the door, you know, next to the hallway to keep them in. Um, kids played Xbox down here. When Kelly was not teaching and watching kids, she spent a lot of time down here. I know watching, watching Drew. Here was the front door, and. Some of my favorite memories are coming home and I would be standing right here where I am right now and there'd be somebody in the kitchen or the kids would hear me come home and they would want to do a jump hug, which means I would just go to the second step here and they would come and jump off that top step and come give me a hug. It's one of the best. Our small kitchen, I don't know how we did it for so long. But we did, we made it work. A lot of sacrifices and stuff over the years. I love looking out this window and in a couple houses up would be my favorite reality show, the McAdams family. And I would watch them <laughs> and see who was playing what and what the score was and just kind of liked looking out this back window, watching the kids ride down the hill, holding their breath. I always like to come here and uh, see how I did cutting the grass with my lines too. So it was uh, where I would sit or stand here and just kind of admire whatever cut I did. Dining room where we dyed Easter eggs and had meals. We had some nice pictures on that wall there. Made cookies for Christmas. Um, pretty much everything out on the deck. We had the grill. And uh, when the boys were younger and they would help me grill, we would say we would have man drinks out here. We'd get some beer and for me and some apple juice or some water for the boys. And during the winter, Killer Hill. Coming from the, from the top there all the way down. Awesome to sled ride. A lot of good memories, I'm sure, for the kids there. And the living room. It's amazing how, how tiny it is, and, but we spent so much time here. TV was in the corner. You could sometimes take it outside to watch TV outside. Couch, as you can see there in the carpet, was, was there. And then on to the bathroom, which is pretty not uh, exceptional, except for the fact that, oops, I remember giving the kids baths in there every night, having fun with their, having fun with them in there was kind of, kind of my duty sometimes. And to the bedrooms and. This was Tyler's. First it was mine as an office, and then it was Tyler's. And then it was Kara's. Up on this wall, it had her name, C-A-R-A, -A, and each one had a letter. The crib was on that wall. Changing table was back there. Later on, when she got older, it had her bed. Her bed was back there. It used to be green for Tyler and then pink for Kara. And the boys, for so long, shared this room, this tiny space. God bless them. Talk about sacrifices. But they did it. Bunk beds in the corner here. Each had their own stuff. Up top or down low. 
Drew was mostly on top, Tyler's down low. We had the Swimer for life, life of course, written in Sharpie. On that wall. And then our bedroom. Brown, painted brown. Fit our furniture in here. I don't know how. Bed and dresser was in the corner. Small closet. I don't think Kelly and I bought new clothes for, for a long time just because we didn't have any place to put it. Had our dresser there. At least I didn't. She might, she might have gotten a few things, but not a lot. It was a lot of sacrifice. In our bathroom, we always had two things in here. We had a, a, a picture that said something about, you know, going at your own speed in life. And then we had a, had a clock here that no matter if we were wearing a watch or not, we would always look at the clock and to tell what time it was. Really kind of a strange deal. My grandmother got us that clock, I think, as a wedding present. It had the temperature on it, but it never worked. And we always wrestled with that tension rod to get it to stay up. Had, a, had the attic there where we put some of our extra storage. We needed it. And that's it. It's a great house. Lots of memories. It'll be sad to not have it be called home anymore, but times change. Actually, a lot of memories in the garage, too. Of course, when you live here in a place for so long, the kids had a little place here where they would play Play-Doh or sit right by the door. And then we kept the lawnmower back here with some other stuff we kept in storage, but you know, the best part of living here was everybody we got to live around and meet and become friends with. And uh, when we'd have driveway night, it'd be kind of right out here. And it would, it would go the distance. And if it was raining, we'd be inside here in the garage. Cleaned up a little bit, not much. It was probably about as good as it gets. And we would uh, stay up late and sing into the night. I always remember kids playing out here in the driveway with some water stuff, shooting squirt guns, riding bikes here. Taught the kids how to ride their bike. We can ride it safely up and down this hill, down all the way around. awesome place to live and hopefully the kids when they grow up will think it was an awesome place to grow up.